my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary. For those of you guys that don't know, thank you so much for tuning in. This is a intuitive reading that I can see for the month of October for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising Signs, or all of the above. So for those of you guys that are wondering, Jess, where's the astrological predictions? How come you're not pulling the astrology chart? It is because I do that every single week and I want to give you guys full focused attention when it comes to my intuitive readings because every week for the month of October and every week for the months prior, you guys know I come on here and I consistently share my astrological predictions and messages with you for the collective in that way. So I wanted to share with you guys an intuitive reading that will cover you for all of the month of October. And I hope that this is gonna be a blessing for you. Now, that being said, the cards that I pulled are these ones. This is for, again, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's dive in. So the first card that I'm seeing, because I did take a little peek, is the King of Pentacles. By the way, I haven't seen these cards. As I'm seeing them for the first time, so are you. Or as you guys are seeing them for the first time, so am I. King of Pentacles, the judgment reversed, express your love, calmness, whoa, what would love do? The arts, express yourself through creative activities, soulmate, new beginnings and a fresh start. I have never seen this card before in the Archangel Michael deck and now here it is energy healing and he's like oh channeling this energy coming in the hawk omens and messages blue heron make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of the judgment or disapproval of, from others stuck in the mud now this is so interesting to me you guys give me a second just to organize this out first thing when I'm seeing the blue heron, and it says make a stand, it's not that that message doesn't apply to everyone or that we should ignore it because if it applies to you, by all means. But what I'm feeling is something about the blue heron, I see him, I used to live in Florida. I used to live in Florida for quite some time. And the blue, the heron would wait along the water edge and just would be so still. You could walk past a heron and it doesn't move and you wonder like, is that thing real or is it a statue? Did someone just put up a, a statue of a heron? Like there's pink flamingos all over Florida. Like what's going on? But the blue heron or the heron is waiting for the opportunity to strike. He's waiting for his moment. And that is, clarified even more for me when I see this card for you stuck in the mud. It seems like nothing is happening here in the moment, but you're just waiting for the right time for the new beginning and the fresh start. When you are waiting, even this person right here, it's calmness and she's, or this person here, she's sitting by the water's edge. See, all of this is coming together, even as I'm saying this. She's sitting by the water's edge, just like a blue heron, and just in her own world. Just doing her, like doing what she wants to do, calm. She's not sitting at the water's edge because she's trying to force anything or because she's trying to do anything other than to find a space of calm and clarity. And when the time is right, that is when she will strike. That is when she will do what she has to do. That's when there will be a new beginning, a fresh start. But right for, for right now, we are focusing on calmness. For the month of October for you guys, what I'm seeing is really asking yourself, what would love do? So that means coming into a space where you are calm, you are pulled into your center, you are not doing anything more than what you need to, and just being calm and following what it is that you love and expressing your heart, expressing yourself in that way through arts, through what makes you feel good, through messages. That's what's gonna be healing for you energetically. I don't think that this is very hermetic, although some of you guys might actually be in a space where you're feeling like a hermit, hermit, where you feel like you're stuck. It's not that you're stuck, you're just in a position right now in the month of October where you are waiting for the right moment, and while you are waiting, you are 
expressing your heart, you're creating, you're singing, you're doing whatever it is that you truly love. What would love do? Love does it just because love you love it. There's no ulterior motives to it while you're waiting for this new beginning, this fresh start to come. And uh, for some of you guys, you guys actually might get a new beginning, a fresh start, simply by doing what it is that you love. Let's say you are trying to, because I can't ignore the fact that soulmate card is here. So your soulmate, there's this quote that's popping up in my head right now. And the quote is that soulmates find each other because they both have the same hiding spot. <laughs> so it's like, no matter where it is that you go within this world, if you're following your heart and if you're doing what is it you love, you are inevitably going to cross paths with your soulmate, with the right people, the right thing at the right time. And it's just effortless. It shouldn't be forced. It shouldn't be giving you anxiety. If anything, everything should be making you feel calm and centered. And that's going to open up this new door for you. That's what's going to open up this fresh start. You're going to see it. The signs are going to come in. The messages are, messages are going to come through. But while you're in that waiting space, enjoy the arts now enjoy the present moment enjoy the quiet enjoy the calmness and if you don't have that create it even the king of pentacles has stability and structure around him and is solid he has a solid foundation around him always but he also enjoys pleasure he enjoys pleasure of the senses he enjoys pleasure of taste of sound of touch I can't remember the other senses right now, but trust and believe he enjoys all of them. He makes time for them because they're important to him and also because he has the luxury to do that. That's the same thing that you're going to be doing. It's very intentional by slowing down, by coming into a space of connecting with the breath, connecting with the things that you love, what would love do. Listening to music, expressing your heart, creating. That's the other thing too. For some of you guys, you're actually creating. And that's going to be a part of energy healing. That is your soul expressing itself. Maybe you express your love to someone, a soulmate, through a poem, through a letter, through um, a, like something that you draw, something that you, a post that it is that you make. And it just, again, creates more sweetness, more contentment in your life. That's what it is I'm seeing here. For some of you guys, I'm feeling like with the judgment card, it's you are being called right now to call it out. You're being called to create it. You're being called to write this fresh start for yourself, this new beginning. But the way to do that is to, when you put that call out, do it from a space of love. Do it so that it is colorful. Do it so it's all the things that it is that you love and want for yourself, especially when it comes to a soulmate especially when it comes to love. Because for some of you guys with the judgment card reversed, it's you're needing to make this call. You're needing to put it out there. You're needing to sound to the universe what it is that you want or the universe is calling you to do that. And you haven't done it yet. You might be armored. You might be defensive. You might be second guessing it. But I just see that when it comes to anything that your soul desires, Go to a space of calmness within yourself. Be still, be silent, just like the blue heron. Be still, be silent, and be quiet for a moment. And allow yourself to connect with your heart and ask yourself, what do you truly want? What type of love do you want? How do you want to feel? And create that, co-create that with the universe in color, not black and white. Really give to yourself these blessings. For some of you, it's um, healing that is happening energy healing and I think that again I'm seeing so much armor you're like armored you've been armored and it's time for you again to start this new journey of things not being so cold it needs to feel sweet it needs to feel um, beautiful you want to be attracted to it you want to feel attractive too and these things that you're asking for they're going to help you to enjoy your life it's like if you ask for a home and you know that you need a home because that's your root chakra, you need a place that is safe and secure and all your own. It's like you ask for a home, but then it's like when the universe says, are you sure that's it? So you get a home and the home feels like a jail cell. It's, you know, metal walls, metal floors, no windows. So you don't never want to be in there, but you know you're safe in there, but you don't, you don't enjoy being in there. So if you want a home, 
What does that home look like? What will it make you feel like? That is the new beginning, the fresh start that you're calling in. And what would love do? This means, what do you love? Ask for what it is that you love. So take some real time out to come from the heart to express yourself. Again, this, is, this could be you co-creating with the universe, what it is that you're manifesting, this new beginning, this fresh start, but I'm also seeing some of you guys really connecting and hearing from maybe even a king of pentacles who normally is guarded. Someone who's coming in and he's just waiting for the right time, the right moment to express his heart to you, or maybe you're going to receive that message. Maybe you're seeing signs that it's time for you to speak up and share what year has been on your heart, and that's gonna open up this fresh start with this new beginning. It needs to come from a space of calmness because you just know it that this is how you've been feeling. Um, it's calmness within your spirit. You might be nervous, you might be anxious, but you're still called to do it. And that's how you know, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you guys for the month of October. I hope that that reading makes sense. If you are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, again, I wanna invite you to subscribe because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I post every week, sometimes multiple times a week. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.